Amen. Come on and praise God.
God. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Let the mighty God be served. Yes, he is. Let the mighty God be served. We serve the mighty God. We serve the awesome God. We serve the magnificent God. We serve the one and only true God. In the name of Jesus.
the Lord. Which I have, when I have opened your graves, O oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, Jesus, hallelujah, then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord, hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we praise your name. We thank you, O oh Lord, that we magnify your name. We thank you for your presence, which is already here. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to have your way in our hearts in the sanctuary, O oh God, in our midst. We ask that you save souls, change lives, set the captives free. God, we give you liberty in this place, O oh God, to move as you see fit, O oh God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We will not leave here the same way that we came in, God. We thank you that we will leave better, more equipped, edified, strengthened, O oh God. And Courage, oh God, and empower. So, Lord, we thank you in advance. Use me, your woman servant, for your glory. Move all flesh out of the way, oh God, so that you can have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You tell, take your seat, tell somebody, do it by faith. Do it by faith. Do it by faith. Amen. Do it by faith. Hallelujah. That's what our praise was about today. Huh? We praise God by faith. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 that faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. It says that we, we have to, those who, 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 who want to please God, my God, have to acknowledge and know that God exists. It says it's impossible to please God without faith. Hallelujah. We have to have faith. You got to have faith. Amen. You have to have faith. Amen. For where you're walking, you have to have faith. For where you are right now, you have to have faith. For where God is taking you, you have to have faith. Because the warfare over your life, you have to have faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the thief comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God said, I have come so that you might have life and have that life more abundantly. How many of y'all want the abundant life that Jesus came for you to have? How many of you know that you already have it by faith? Hallelujah. It's time to grab a hold of the promises of God by faith. I'm here just to make the pronouncement and the pronouncement that God has still has a great plan for your life. That no matter how hopeless, no matter how wrong it seems, hallelujah. No matter how many people counted you out, no matter no matter how much you're lacking, God still has a plan. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many people that have counted you out. They thought it was over. You like the people lying in the valley of the dry bones. Hallelujah. And they did everything but throw the dirt on you. But you are here rejoicing today because you know like I know that it's not over. Stop! 
together, God. Scattered foes. Only He can do it. Scattered foes. Dryness, hopelessness. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, victim, I guess they were laying there saying, we just be dead. We just dead. We are slain. Life has been bad. Life is really beating me up. I really took a licking. And I can't keep on taking no more. I might as well just lay here and give up. But the devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. I thank God that I came to preach to some people on today who are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. I thank God that I came to preach to some people today that refuse to quit. I thank God that I came to preach to some people today that said God is renewing my strength as I wait on the Lord. Jesus. And be of good courage. That's right. He's doing it. As I do it by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Amen. As I do it by faith. I don't have any fear. I'm not afraid. What can man do to me? Come on. What can the devil do to me? Oh, glory. When you've been fighting the devil hard enough, you get bold. When you've been fighting the devil long enough. See, the fighting spiritual war is nothing like fighting natural war. You're talking right. Oh, yeah. We fight not against flesh and blood, church. But against principalities, demons, or wickedness at high places. That's right. right. Just hovering around. The devil's prowling around. Everywhere. Chicken whom he may devour. But we are kingdom people. Hallelujah. Still kingdom power. Oh, Lord. We have dunamis power. And we have enthusiasm. We have the power of authority to make things happen by virtue. And we have the power of authority to make things happen by the words that we speak out of our mouths. Amen. 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 So y'all need to declare, man, 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 man. The devil, you can't beat me. Y'all ain't scared of the devil. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't beat me, devil. Yeah, you tried. You thought you had me. But I'm with my mama to flip this day. You know how you fight and they got you down on the ground and they thought they had you. you but you get this supernatural right. power, you know? Uh -huh. And Come you on. flip that thing. That's right. Come on, some of y'all better get some supernatural <laughs> strength and flip that thing. Uh -huh.
Wow. Yes. For your good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know he is. Yes, 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 he is. Y
Because I got being like serious. <laughs> it bothered me. No, let me want to go with you. And I'm going to be like, I see you. <laughs> So Janice would go out there, she's still scared, timid, and I'm like this, because I know if I got to fight, I got to fight. And mama in the back, <laughs> hallelujah. And Janice would go out in the bully waiting, and they start hitting, and they start fighting. And Janice is like this, and then mama would come up in the circle, and mama would be like, you just hit her back, so I'd rather beat her, and have her beat me, than mama beat me. Come on, somebody. <laughs> so mama would be like, if you don't beat her, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so she would start the fight, but she then she would lay on the ground and, and ball up in the circle, and then they looking at me, so I'm jumping in, hallelujah, and I'm fighting. But I remember one time Janice left me fighting, and I, I, I heard this voice, and I'm fighting four or five people, and I heard this voice, get him, baby, get him, you get him, you get him, and I looked up and Janice is up in the window in our apartment. <laughs> She done left me hanging. Mama was nowhere else. I'm fighting from the ground. I'm kicking and I'm punching. Huh? Hallelujah. So when I say all my life I had to fight, I mean it. And the flesh couldn't beat me. I'm not going to let no spirit. I'm not going to let no demon. I'm not going to let no, 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 no,
We still got to come up and do it by faith. So tell somebody to do it by faith. Do it by faith. We got to do it by faith when people walk away from the church. We got to do it by faith when our people get blessed and they get blessed with jobs that put them their work on Sunday. We got to do it by faith. Hallelujah. When the spirit of offense tries to come in the church. We got to do it by faith when somebody comes in and tries to split the church. We got to do it by faith. Hallelujah. When the church is split and you feel like giving up. Y'all don't know Split. Come on, somebody. And you feel like quitting, but God says, oh, no, baby, did you get the promise yet? If you didn't get the promise yet, you better be putting the key in the lock on Sunday morning. Go ahead, man. And even if he didn't, he got a good plan for you. 
and son did, and you gave your life to him, like it or not, you will succeed. Like it or not, you will prosper. Like it or not, God's going to be behind it. Like it or not, God's going to change your life. Who am I talking to up in here? I wish I had your faith in him, but he was up in the house of the Lord that was just praying.
Speak that way to the four winds. Tell the four winds to blow the wind. And that word for wind is ruach. R U W A C H. Somebody say ruach. 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 Ruach is God's eternal glory. Oh Lord, hallelujah. We need your glory. Hallelujah. It's the, it's the thing that comes from the inside of the person. The Holy Ghost power that gives us the strength of an army, the strength of a soldier in back. Oh, glory, hallelujah. It's God's power that comes to bring the impossibilities into the realm of the possible. That's right. Come on, somebody. That's right. That's right. Haruah is the wind of God, the very breath of God, the glory of God. Send your ruach. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. We need God's glory. Ruach is God's glory. Hallelujah. When Sue and, and the praise team were up, they, they, they were praising God, and I saw God's ruach. Oh, glory. I felt the glory of the Lord. I felt God's right. ruach, his wind, his breath, begin to blow through the sanctuary. Somebody say ruach. Hallelujah. God's glory begin to come in and blow on them, that they got caught up in the Holy Ghost. I saw quite a few of them. Was caught up in the Holy Ghost. So said, I tell you, God, I tell you, that was God's ruach. And sometimes we're in a dry situation and a dead church, and we don't feel God's glory. And God said, Let me know new Christian ministry. Yeah. Not be that kind of church yeah. where you don't feel my glory. I need God's ruach to blow out in the sanctuary. The glory of the Lord to rest on me. Somebody said, Let your glory. Rest on me, God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He showed the Israelites his glory. When he came in the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. And he led them through the wilderness. I'm telling you how you're making it is because of God's ruach. Because of God's glory. God's glory is leading you. God's glory is guiding you. Amen. God's glory is strengthening you.
When God blew his breath, your glory. When his glory came, yes. everything that was dead, oh no. Shekinah. Came alive. Amen. Shekinah glory. Yes. God's manifested glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, the times when God's glory was filled the sanctuary. That's right. And the preacher couldn't preach. All the people could do was worship. That's all you All the people could do was fall down. That's right. Every sickness is healed. When you get into God's glory, Jesus. we're looking for God's favor. And God says, you need my ruach. You need my breath. You need my redeeming power. You need my glory to blow through you. That's what we need. You need my glory to blow through your situation. Does anybody want his glory today? Come on. Does anybody want his glory? We want your glory. He says, my glory. Anyway, 
And when the glory did not show up when they showed up, the Bible says that a small army defeated them. And sometimes when we don't pray, when we don't stand up under that glory, the smallest things defeat us. So we want to pray with you and pray for you. Pastor preached at a church on Friday night, and she prophesied into the life of a young man. And this young man said, I've been in church all my life. And I'm like, God, where are you? I don't feel you. I don't sense you. I don't know you. God, I'm looking for you. I'm searching for you. God, where are you? And as she spoke into this young man's life, before she left the church, this young man said, all my days of being in church, I did not feel God. And that's why Pastor said it's so important that you have pastors free of sin. It's so important that we're not nasty and, and defiled by the things of God. It's so important that we lay hands and impart that you feel God. Every now and then tears should flow from your face. Every now and then your body should quicken as we lay hands and touch and deliver. Every now and then in a ministry like this, you should feel God. So in the mighty name of Jesus, as Pastor Prophet lay hands, as, as you feel the anointing of God, the anointing represents the oil. You're going to slip out of, slip away from every negative situation. God's going to let you slip away from the hand of the enemy. As pastor touch and agree, we recognize we're in a day where Christians are going through so much. Believers are being persecuted, harassed on a job, harassing their minds in the name of Jesus. As hands are laid, the Bible says the sick shall recover. Those who have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. And those who are down will be raised up. So Lord, we thank you for your glory in this sanctuary. We thank you for our seed, our posterity. That they'll be blessed and highly favored in every area of life. We thank you that no one before me is anybody in this church represented by New Creation Christian Ministries. Oh Lord, weary and well doing. But we're going to reap a harvest if we faint not. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch every life. Touch every soul. Deliver from every affliction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch, Lord. Touch, God. Fresh winds blowing. A fresh anointing blowing. A fresh wave blowing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Breathe on your people, God. Breathe on your people, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for breath. We thank you for life eternal. In the mighty name of Jesus. You breathe into Adam and he became a living creature. You breathe and we are made in the image of Almighty God on his name. You breathe and man became a living vessel. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, touch. Use your prophet, your woman servant on this day. Cross. 
spirit that hates us. We bind up the Antichrist that's operating in the earth around us. And we worship the Lord God.
other blind parties, the fact that I'm going to tithe right now, can I pay online? And nccmonline.org, just press the donate button. And he paid his tithes and offerings right through the internet. And he said, a, a day later, God did not just double it. He gave me above what I sold and what I gave. And I say, I say, it's not necessarily going to come back in money. God will move that way, but he don't necessarily move that way all the time. But the fact that, as Pastor said, we're, we're breathing his air. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. We're sitting next to our children in the church. Yeah. Y'all better hear God. You know, some, some people didn't wake up with that today. Some people right now need the help of oxygen, aspirat, you know, uh, uh, machines to help them breathe. And we just exhaling and inhaling on our own. There's some things that God will do that money cannot buy. Money can't buy happiness. I'm sorry. Yeah. Y'all better, y'all better hear God. It can buy you a home. I mean a house, but it can't buy you a home. So, so when we sow, when we tithe, he says, test me not, prove me not. I didn't come up with that. That was here way before I was born. Amen, somebody. And my wife and I, even as I told her the other day, I said, you know, we refinanced our home and, and we gave to the church in that time where we had only a handful of tithers. And um, God said, I'm going to honor y'all because even as she talked about Janice, at 87 First Street, Janice Homegoing Service was in there. And, and it was tight, but we honored we Janice and sent her home with a beautiful homegoing service. And, and uh, even that humble beginning, we had a, a, a water baptism. You remember we dragged a little pool, pool in there. We had a little rubber pool. We had water all over the facility. The fire alarms went off. So, so Pastor and I know what it's like, amen, to, 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 to make do with what you got, to improvise. And over the years, now that we got a baptismal facility and a beautiful sanctuary, we knew what it was like to baptize. I think we baptized about eight people that day in a rubber water uh, kitty pool. And if you can't tell me they wasn't baptized. Amen. They said, were you baptized? I was baptized. How were you baptized? In the kitty pool? Baptized Kevin in a nice uh, little facility, but some people were baptized in a kitty pool, and you can't take it away from them. Amen. So as we give today, uh, I thank God. Even as my wife said, I told my wife, I said most people would have would have refinanced, would have bought a new car, took an extravagant vacation, and remodeled their home. But God told you and I to give back to this church, and I said that was a lot of money. But God still has us as a church eight years later. Back then, we, we, we did give a lot of giving because we didn't have it, but know that your tithes, your offerings, allow us to be here month to month to month. Amen. We moved in here last August. We have not missed a month. Amen. 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 We did not Elizabeth, the times we fell behind, but we've been on schedule, and that's why you never have to pull and say give an extra hundred. Anybody got an extra fifty? Because as the one said, listen, I'm gonna try this time today. Right. I'm gonna I'm I'm walk by faith and not by sight. I'm gonna try the time for the first time in my life, and that's what God is saying. We want a hundred percent tithes, and God can do it in new creation. Amen. So everybody.